Welcome to my tasty art expedition everyone, I'm Artifacts. Get those pencils ready, cause I'm gonna take you step by step through my process of drawing noses, where I'll show you common mistakes and how to correct them so you can achieve that realistic style. First, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future art videos like these. Now, a standard pencil works fine when drawing noses, but for even better results, I recommend a couple extra pencils that are both lighter and darker than the common number two, which is usually an HB. Check out my video on drawing anything for more information on pencil grading scales. You'll also benefit from having a blending stump like this, or even a Q-tip, to blend graphite in smaller spaces. Otherwise, you can use your finger with or without a tissue. Okay, when drawing a nose, you may want to start out using a single hard line to create the overall shape, but outside of the nostrils, noses have pretty soft edges everywhere. This is one of the reasons the nose can be so difficult to draw. For our realistic drawing, let's start off with light guidelines to mark the bottom of the nose, the sides, and roughly where the eyes sit. I'm doing this with my light 2H pencil. Then, we can draw a circle for the tip of the nose and refine our lines on the sides by drawing curves. Unlike the drawing on the left, the nostrils are separate from the outline of the nose and should be drawn more inside the bottom guideline using teardrop shapes. Now, draw another curved line underneath the nose that connects the ends of the nostrils. Finally, the upper part of the nose can be lightly drawn with curved lines that extend just past our line for the eyes. With this general shape finished, we can now clean up the drawing and erase all of the guidelines. A lot of times, I'll see noses where people fill in the nostrils completely with dark circles, but if you look at an actual nose, you'll see the nostrils are darker at the top and get a little lighter towards the bottom where the light enters. I'll draw some shapes to mark where shadows fall on the underside of the nose first. Then I'll take my 2H pencil and shade in the nostrils using more pressure at the top than at the bottom. I'll go back and shade a little just above the nostrils and then use my blending stump to smooth everything out. Now, shading a nose is a multi-layered process since the shadows on the skin are so subtle. Rather than using a heavy hand to shade your nose, you'll need to start light and add progressively darker layers to draw realistic skin. Let's add more shading to the underside of the nose between the nostrils and just underneath the nose in a V shape. Apply a little more pressure anywhere you see darker shades. Let's continue doing this throughout making sure we look at our reference nose and get a feel for where the shadows make the skin around the nose darker. Keep lightly adding layers and blending little by little, still using your lighter pencil if you have one. When you feel like you've got a good foundation of shading down, grab a slightly darker pencil and repeat the shading process for the nostrils. I'm using an HB pencil now, but if you don't have a darker pencil, you can do this by applying more pressure with the pencil you have. Continue shading other darker areas like the lines on the sides and underneath the nostrils here. Then blend these areas more. I'll now use an even darker pencil like this 2B and repeat the process again all over. To really up the contrast on just a few of the darkest areas, I'll use my darker 4B pencil and repeat the process one last time. Now for final touches, I like to use my eraser to brighten up areas that reflect light. I find the edge of a firm eraser is really helpful for this because I can get sharper erase marks.
Well, that's my process for drawing a realistic nose. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by giving it a like. Also, drop a comment and tell me what else you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.